it's Sarah Hatch with Hatch Property Management. Today I'm going to teach you about how to winterize your hose bibs. This is something that you want to do every year, right before the cold season starts, after you're done mowing your lawn and watering your lawn for the year. We have a blog on our website, hatchpropertymanagement.com. Go to our blog page and you'll find the step-by-step -step instructions on how to winterize your hose bibs. Here I'm going to give you the visual demonstration of how to do that. So what you want to do is come to your basement, usually in your unfinished storage area, and you want to locate where your hose bib shutoffs are. So in this case, in this basement, they're right up here, and these ones have a ball valve where you want to do rotate the valve all the way, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So I'm going to rotate both of these. This is for the front and the back of the house to the right. Make sure that they are all the way closed. And then the next step is actually outside. I'll take you there in just a minute. So on the outside of the house, you'll find the hose bib, which looks like this. Uh, most of them have the valves that you actually turn, just like this, that are circular. There are some other varieties out there, but you should be able to um, identify where they are because they just peek right out from the foundation of your house. So what you want to do is, after you have the inside of your house, um, the hose bib valves closed, then you come outside and you open the valve completely. So lefty loosey, this is all the way open. You wanna make sure that any remaining water drains down and then you can go ahead and close it back up. For extra winterization, they have these, these um, styrofoam cones that you can actually cover the entire hose bib with. You pull it tight and then that keeps this weatherproof throughout the winter. Again, this is Sarah Hatch with Hatch Property Management. If you have any questions about the content of this video, please call 703-966-2232.